As families emerge from homelessness and finally get a roof over their heads, they face another challenge, furniture poverty. Beds, sofas, and dining tables are expensive, and many of these families must eat and sleep on the floor. Kid Doe has the story of how one Bay Area charity is turning houses into homes. We are here in the South Bay at this unmarked low-key warehouse, which is the home of the Bay Area Furniture Bank. They collect and distribute thousands of pieces of donated furniture to needy families. And this is the story of how a humble dinner table connects us all and shows that when it comes to improving lives, oftentimes it takes a village. The wooden table is seven feet long, gently used and well-loved by the family of Loris Peroni for nearly two decades. She bought the table when her daughter was an infant. So you've had it for... Um, Almost 19 years, 19 years or so. That's a lot of family dinners. That's, yeah, a, lot of, that's a lot of memories. A lot of memories, yes. With her daughter now off to college, it was time to let it go. Family dinners are so meaningful and a great place to connect with people. So I'm really hopeful that, you know, the family who gets to use it next will enjoy that too. The table is headed to the Bay Area Furniture Bank's huge warehouse, where it'll be added to a stockpile that stretches across 40,000 square feet. It kind of says a lot that you even need a warehouse this big. Yeah, because there's a tremendous demand um, in the Bay Area. Ray Piontek is the executive director and says the bank is the first of its kind in the Bay Area. It turns out picking up donated furniture... Tracking, storing, and then distributing it is not cheap. They get a lot of help from Google, who has donated the warehouse and pays for the utilities. Hanghold has donated delivery trucks and pays for gas. Volunteers assemble furniture, and the furniture itself is mostly donated from local companies that are downsizing or renovating. So these came from Netflix? Hewlett Packard Foundation, the UC Santa Cruz, Stanford University, Yahoo, NetApp. From the Hyatt Del Monte in Monterey. I think once people realize that there's a need out there, um, they just jump in and help. Dishes, kitchenware, lamps, microwaves, mattresses, end tables, nightstands, bunk beds, and even coffee mugs. It's all heading to families who were recently homeless but are now battling so-called furniture poverty. It just keeps going and going. It may look like a lot, but Ray says this inventory will last about four months. They furnish about eight homes a week, and since launching in 2016, the bank has delivered furniture to more than 2,500 families. All of a sudden, it just turns a living space into a home and that's what our goal is trying to promote dignity and stability for Virginia Cervantes life has been a struggle she's been living with relatives but with help finally got a new apartment and a reminder that the village is all around us it's more than just a table yeah yeah it's more than just a table of course you know it's somewhere to spend quality time it's nice it's really really nice it's gonna mean a lot because my kids we can have family dinners you know in our new apartment we can eat all together and just have family time I mean she's had that table for a while so it's great that she was giving it up for another family especially mine so I want to thank her for that I feel so happy for my mom it feels so great to have a lot of furniture in the house we never had this much help from anybody so I feel so grateful for what we have and thankful oh that's great it's yeah. awesome <laughs> <laughs> kind of humbled and grateful too for all that I have and being able to share it with other people it's really Ray lives by the old African proverb that says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Thank you for the table. It's so good. In San Jose, Kitto, KPIX5. Oh, that oh, is so sweet. Sorry, my heart. Oh, my gosh, oh. yeah. Wow, it's 521 now. It's